。篆刻呢是呃中国的一个古老的艺术，啊，跟我们中国的文字一样，有很长的历史。啊，同时呢，它也是一种文字的艺术，就是中国的文字呢，因为它是发源于象形，啊，所以呢，它也。For more than 2,500 years, seals have served as commanding emblems of identity and authority in China. In the hand of rulers, they functioned as symbols of their dynasty or state, and in the hand of individuals, seals were proof of rank, much like a written signature. From the 14th century, seal carving developed into an important art form, achieving the same status as the Three Perfections. Painting, poetry, and calligraphy. Seals are judged for physical qualities as objects, but most importantly for their inscriptions. Seal inscriptions use the potential of Chinese writing to the fullest, and many draw on the pictorial qualities of Chinese characters, some of which originate in ancient pictograms. During the tumultuous 20th century, traditional arts such as seal carving temporarily seemed irrelevant. This art form was revived by Li Lanjing, who brought about a dramatic transformation that returned seal carving to its earlier popularity when he took up the art from his retirement from serving as the Vice Premier of the State Council of the People's Republic of China in 2003. He continued his lifelong promotion of education, now directed toward promoting the art of seal carving. He has a very wide cultural heritage. 啊，对中国的古典文化啊，有非常丰富的积累，同时他又对世界文化啊有非常浓厚的兴趣，啊，他在文学、音乐啊、这个舞蹈啊等等这个艺术领域啊的这样一种学养啊，形成了一个他的一个非常呃完整的，可以说是丰富的。Carving a seal requires great accomplishment. From the 14th century, painters and calligraphers began carving their own seals, which created a pathway for individual artistic expression. This development of seal carving into an important art form resulted in great interest in the materials used. Seals can be fashioned from metal, ceramic, ivory, or, as in most cases, from a piece of coloured and polished stone. Li Lanqing mostly uses stones, but also metal, porcelain, and unusually brick. To cut a seal, all we need is the seal stone, a knife, a fastener, and a box of red seal paste. The stones quarried in China's mountain ranges are often very soft, and therefore suitable for carving by hand. After selecting the stone, the artist uses brush and ink to write a draft of the inscription onto the bottom of it. He then carves along these lines, making the characters stand out, effectively creating a three-dimensional landscape. The seal is then tapped onto a pad of red seal paste and stamped onto paper, revealing the characters that were carved. Li Lanqing comments on the intuitiveness of carving a seal. I just want to paint. Mind is to use mind to see, use your eyes to see. After seeing, mind tells you where the knife is going. 他就非常准确的走，是不是？篆刻的时候，这一刀刻到哪什么位置停，他就要停。这不是一个非常这个精密的思维的过程。Li Lanqing was born in Zhenjiang in Jiangsu Province in 1932, and has been a famous statesman. At the height of his career, which included posts with oversight for economics, education, culture, sport, technology, and science, he served as vice premier of the State Council of China from 1993 to 2003. His practice of choosing seal inscriptions is unusual in the history of seal carving, as Li Lanqing works to a great extent with the issues of his time, innovatively merging tradition and modernity. His role in the reforms in China from the late 1970s has shaped his reputation as being a forward-looking thinker. The themes of his seals reflect his principles as a person and politician, so his seals are deeply personal and autobiographical in outlook. 
Li Lanqing was also instrumental in China's bid for the 2008 Olympic Games. He made the final choice of the official seal, for which his own artistic prowess made him the ideal judge. Today, this seal is the internationally best known Chinese seal. Dancing Beijing reflects the degree to which this art is perceived as a quintessentially Chinese art. The main image presents an energetic, dancing figure configured in a way that simultaneously resembles the Chinese character Jing, meaning capital, and which is also part of the name for Beijing. Statesman Li Lanqing has made the 21st century a new age of seal carving. His works touch on important political movements and international culture, as well as on some personal moments in his life, all of which are represented in this exhibition of over 100 seals and two brushwritten calligraphies. His works represent the power of culture to link all peoples and nations, and they do this in a uniquely Chinese way. The exhibition brings the British Museum one step further on its journey to present the richness of contemporary Chinese culture to its public.